Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. This time we take a look at something that uh, I actually didn't know existed until recently, but to be fair, I haven't really done a lot of hunting of the uh, Fox era Blu-ray releases from the UK. Uh, I've got a couple of them, uh, but I haven't made it a point to hunt down every single one of them, including just the regular 2011 trilogy sets. Um, I should at some point, I just haven't at this point. But fairly recently on the Star Wars Home Video Group on Facebook, uh, a member named Adam Tickner pointed out something that was kind of unusual, that was then picked up by Jeff Rabjohns as well, who helped me pick up a copy myself, thanks to uh, just sort of picking it up from eBay in the UK and then mailing it over to me. And that is a version of the 2011 original trilogy Blu-ray set from the UK that was actually given away with Panasonic televisions and therefore is a little bit different than the standard retail release. That is this. Okay, so no slip cover here, you notice. Just regular case. Star Wars with the titles there. And, you know, we've seen this kind of design plenty of times before. UK ratings down at the bottom. Spine, Lucasfilm, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, Star Wars, then 4, 5, 6 in Roman numerals. Rating, rating, product number, Blu-ray, THX. The back, similar to what you would expect. The Force on Blu-ray, own every moment. Blu-ray symbol about it. Um, three, disc set includes and notes the films. Images from the films. Vital stat stuff. Various logos and whatnot. Your Irish and UK um, uh, ratings down here. Notice, though, not for individual sale. So this is kind of like that weird black border interior case uh, Rise of Skywalker we ran into recently. Not for individual sale. It was given away with players. Inside, you'll find that it's just kind of the regular insert. Not a shock there. The discs, again, we've looked at these when we looked at some of the UK stuff like the Complete Saga set. Remember that the discs for the UK releases have the UK ratings on them, but also use pictures of characters rather than it all being kind of the one solid uh, or gradient color like we see in the U.S., so a little bit cooler looking. But what else is inside that makes this stand apart is this, okay? This is a little ad bit here, Panasonic, the $5 off coupon, shows the prequel trilogy there, it says, or excuse me, five pounds, not five dollars, uh, five, God only knows these days, Five dollars and five pounds are not the same thing. Um, so five pounds off with this barcode at HMV. So buy the Panasonic player, get the original trilogy for free packed in. If you want to go buy the prequels, go to HMV, get five pounds off. And the back has all your text explaining the uh, specifics of that offer, along with the copyright and stuff down at the bottom. It is still 2011. So, um, kind of a neat little thing, granted, you know, not, you know, overly unique or anything like that, but a pretty cool little oddball variant of the original trilogy set from 2011. I should really hunt down the regular version of this, the regular version of the prequel trilogy, and the Digibook UK version of the Complete Saga, now that I've got the one with the blue pages, I just haven't really thought to do it. Um, uh, I really still need to hunt down the Empire Strikes Back Laserdisc first release from the UK also, but... Just don't tend to think of it whenever it happens to be available online, or don't tend to think of it when I have the cash to spend on it. Um, but a, kind of a cool one. So my thanks to uh, Adam for bringing it to our attention in the home video group, and then Jeff for helping me acquire this particular copy of it. Um, my thanks to you both, and uh, thank you for watching. May the Force be with the home video viewers.